Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Information Technology. I am very excited as I will be showing you some shortcut that you can use with the Windows shortcut key. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So our first shortcut is Windows plus Control plus D. Press this shortcut key and it will open a new desktop for you. This is a very easy and fastest way to create a fresh desktop. To switch between these virtual desktops, you can use the, the window plus control plus one of the arrows key, where the right arrow keys will take you to the virtual desktop which is on the right and the left arrow keys will take you to the um, virtual desktop which is on the left. This takes us to our next shortcut key. Let's say I have opened a lot of applications. Here I have the Windows Explorer. I have the I have opened the Notepad. I have opened a browser, and uh, I have a lot of uh, applications that are open. And I just want to go to the desktop instead of minimizing every single application. We can use a shortcut key, which is Windows plus N. Yes, Windows plus M takes you directly to a desktop. If you want quicker access to your most used application, then pin them into the taskbar. It will speed up your workflow even more if you use the following combination. The Windows plus a number key from 1 to 9. So if I want to open the notepad from the taskbar, I will press the Windows plus 7 key because the notepad is pinned in the number 7 in our taskbar. Open an application that you need to work with and press the Windows plus left arrow key. Then open another application and click the Windows key plus right arrow. Now two windows are sharing your screen. Press the Control Alt plus tab a uh, shortcut which will show you all the apps currently running on your PC. Let's say you are in the middle of working in an application and suddenly one of the applications stops working. You don't want to lose all your data which you have worked on. You can use the following combo which will take you directly to the task manager. From there you can close any of the application which causes the problem. To open the file menu, you can press the Windows plus E key in your keyboard. This is the fastest way and easiest way to open the file manager menu and it saves a lot of time. The Windows key combined with the plus or minus key will open the magnifier app which allows you to zoom in and out wherever you point your cursor. Use the Windows key plus print screen to take a screenshot and immediately save it in the image folder on your hard drive. As you can see, I just took a screenshot of the screen and uh, you can see it saved it in the image folder on my hard disk. So here we go. Here is the uh, screenshot which I just took a while ago. Windows 10 provides very cool features. If you move your mouse to the right bottom corner of your screen, here you can see the notification area. In the notification area, you can set up your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and all other important features that you need. But what if I tell you to bring the notification area by using a shortcut key? Yes, you can use the Windows plus A shortcut key to bring the notification center. If you want to access the advanced features of your PC, you can go to the start menu and type settings. You can also use the Windows plus I key to bring up the setting menu. You are in the middle of working and suddenly need to step away from your PC, but you don't want anyone meddling in your stuff. You can quickly lock your user profile by using the shortcut key of Windows plus L. The Windows plus L key will lock your user profile. Make sure you have password protected your user profile. That's all I have for you today. If you like the tutorial, please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon. 
If you have any comments or questions, please make sure you put them under this video. I will try to answer to all your questions and feedback at a suitable time. So thank you so much and have a good day.